morning. Welcome back to the Forex Lounge Fundamental Extras. Today is Friday, May 7, 2010. Welcome back one and all. Great you could join us. Well, over the past 24 hours, we've had two very big pieces of news. First, starting yesterday, this is on Bloomberg.com. The euro slumped to its weakest level in almost 14 months against the dollar and depreciated versus the yen as the European Central Bank kept its main refinancing rate at a record low. The pound slid against the greenback as Britons voted in an election that may fail to produce a parliamentary majority for the first time since 1974. The ECB may announce additional measures to contain Greece's debt crisis, analysts said. Greece's finance minister said the country doesn't have the money to repay the debt due this month. So we've seen a lot of big headline numbers. The big number, uh, obviously, was the European Central Bank keeping interest rates unchanged, as expected, at 1% yesterday. Now, the following chart shows us a blue line European Central Bank interest rate history. Again, at 1%, the violet line represents a 12-month average. And we can see, since the decline, the European Central Bank, like most central banks, have failed to raise rates. Now, compare historic ECB rates, again, the blue line, to the equity market. The violet line represents a DAX equity market in Germany. Cacaron in France is the green line. Historically, during prosperous economic times, when the European Central Bank has maintained rates high, up near the 4.25%, equity markets have done well. As equity markets come down, as the economy falls into a slump, European Central Bank reacts and cuts rates. Now, compare European Central Bank history at 1% currently, to the euro dollar currency pair now obviously it's not a completely fair comparison as the euro dollar contains two currencies within the pair however historically during prosperous times when the european central bank raises rates they do so in reaction or in, as a result of a strong economy and we see the euro tend to rise against other currencies as the european central bank cuts rates we expect the euro to fall or at least not to rise so with the european central bank aside from the greek issues so with just taking into consideration, the European Central Bank keeps rates unchanged at 1%, and very not likely that we're going to see interest rate hikes anytime soon. We certainly would not expect to see major rallies occur in the euro currency. Now, the second piece of news released uh, today, this is on Bloomberg.com as well, employment in the U.S. increased in April by the most in four years, and the unemployment rate unexpectedly rose as thousands of people entered the labor force indicating the recovery is becoming self-sustaining. Payrolls jumped 290,000 last month, more than the median estimate of economists survey by Bloomberg News, after a revised 230,000 increase in March that was larger than initially estimated figures from the Labor Department in Washington show today. The jobless rate rose to 9.9% last month from the previous 9.7%. So, and that is again one of the big headline numbers. Going to U.S. data now, we take a look at U.S. unemployment rate. Historically, that's the blue line. We had sank down to the 9.7% last month. This month now, back up to 9.9%. The alt, not all time, but very, very significant highs were 10.1% going back to October of last year. And the violet line represents a 12-month moving average. We are still above its own moving average, and that is important. Now, compare the Dow Jones Industrial Average, that's the blue line, to the violet line. This is based on monthly charts. The violet line represents U.S. unemployment. During prosperous times when unemployment falls, the Dow tends to rise. When unemployment rises, the Dow tends to fall. Well, lately, we've seen unemployment start to rise, and as of yesterday's trading action, the Dow actually took a really big hit to the downside. So unemployment rising, the Dow Jones Industrial Average going down, it's a very logical move. Compare unemployment, that's the blue line, now rising to 9.9% to the violet line, that's a dollar Swiss currency pair. During prosperous times, when unemployment falls, the dollar tends to rise because lower unemployment leads the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates, which in turn tends to lead to dollar rallies. However, as unemployment rises, very little chance Federal Reserve will raise rates, and therefore, we would likely expect to see the dollar Swiss stay near its lows, or at least fail to manage any sort of significant rally. And finally, you can compare the dollar Swiss, that's a violet line to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. There's a very strong negative correlation that has occurred over the past couple of years as the Dow goes up. Because the dollar represents lower yielding currencies at this point, the dollar tends to go down as a flight to safety. When the Dow goes down, the dollar tends to move up. Lately, we've seen the Dow come down and we've seen a lot of dollar strength. With that said, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to email us anytime, info at forexlounge.com. 
We thank you for joining us. We wish you a great day, all profitable trades, and we look forward to seeing you back soon, back inside the Forex Lounge.